here. I am Ronaldo. I don't care. You're in the wrong studio and I want you out. Ronaldo is never wrong. Well, this time you are because I booked this space. No, no, no. My management told me this was my studio. Well, I booked here four days ago. I booked here ten days ago. Well, I know you're just... Uh, uh, uh. I know you're just a big fat meanie. <gasps> well... Well, I saw you in the car park. What did I do in the car park? Oh, like you don't know. I... I just leave before I call the police. You were here from my lawyer. Do you read me like a book? Oh my gosh, also that wannabe in here before, what did she want? She was just like, came in here screaming and I'm all like, this is hurt me and so just like, I want here, get hurt before I kill you. Oh my gosh, you okay? I'll survive. That other was just, that was just crazy. I oh, know they're like crazy little muscle milk. We need to have each other's backs. I know. Yeah, we should we should team up and together we could rule the world. And stop those dodgy fast foods from taking over the sumo salad as a quick lunch alternative. Yeah, yeah, I hear I hear heart disease on the rise in modern society. I am so shocked that you chose me. A little actress in a big pond. This is my wildest dream. J Odie is such an honourable choice. J Odie. Time. I like the acronym. Is this your first time being nominated? Yeah, you? I was nominated in 2007, but Mr. and Mrs. Garrison needed me urgently for some plant setting. Campbell Newman needed the Ada's election campaign. It doesn't look good if an actress is affiliated with any other political party other than the Greens. I don't mean to sound rude, but are you from that show here and there? I questioned the director's vision and the way. What, what do you do? I'm a plant activist. A what? I care for plants in need. Okay. So much for following the greens. Great, it's Nemo lover. Yay, it's the fashion police. So this is a point to what I do. By handing out fines and wearing socks and sandals. It's a major fashion crime, so shut it. This isn't some of the wild all day. What are you two doing? You should be on Kidbook. Please, Facebook's better. That's very true. No way, my program already has millions of users. All you do is colouring in-game. Which is why Facebook's better. Kidbook is the best there is. It's better than swimming around the ocean and giving people fines all day. What I do is important. Kidbook is gonna make me rich. Protecting people from bad fashion is more important. I prefer saving a species of animal than sitting on a chair playing games all day. Who cares about whales? Games are what people like, not whales. No one cares about kid book. Facebook's better, end of story, just give it up, mate. This is going nowhere. One day, when I win this award and I'm famous, you'll realise kid book is the best thing to have. In your dreams. Are we done yet? I have a blog to upload on. My fans need me. Thank you, thank you. I would just like to say. Thank you. And if it wasn't for the mass breed of kangaroos in 1850. Ugh! I wouldn't be here right now. I'm so glad I've been able to educate you with the magic of kangaroos and that I've taught you so much. Like, like, 
how red kangaroos feed in mobs, and how grey kangaroos feed on their own, <laughs> and how and how there are three types of kangaroos: grazers, males, and females. And I'm so proud. Welcome to the 22nd Annual Junior Young Australian of the Year Awards. Now for your host, Dirk Holland. Come on, we have quite a show for you tonight. The number one Australian TV show is back, and it's hotter than my ex. <laughs> now for Per Johnson, and she is looking hotter than her red curry. Hi, I'm Per Johnson, and I've been nominated because I love to cook. I cook five stars meals for starving countries like Canada. A little Cajun seasoning. A sprinkle of night forest goji berries. And off to Canada it goes. When I was younger, I entered a competition called Mini Aussie Chef and won. Thank you so much for nominating me. Now for Penelope, and she is going to make you green with envy. Greetings from Planet Green. My name is Penelope Coco and I have kindly been nominated for my hard, persistent work in the environment. Who's your cutie flower? Want some water? You thirsty? No. No, who's your pretty flower? No, you're so pretty. Watering the plants are my life. Planet Green to go. And now Gertrude. Hi. My name's Gertrude Plum, and I've been nominated for my love and great knowledge on how to save the kangaroos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's only five species of kangaroos? Uh-huh. Yep. <laughs> A vote for me and help save Australia. across the ocean to New Zealand to raise money for whales' survival. Even if I had to swim to Canada for these whales, I'll still do it. Thank you for nominating me, Australia. By supporting me, you are helping the world's largest mammal. Our next nominee is no stranger to the spotlight. It's Darling Please. Hello, my name is Darling Please and I've been nominated because of my commitment to the arts and to help spread world peace. But, but Jack, I thought you were dead. A vote for me is a vote for TV. And know that you're doing a good thing. Thank you. And now our tech expert, George Hansen, and he sure lives up to the name. Hi, my name is George, the king of social networks. 379 million users. Big bad Zuckerberg. I have been nominated this year for Junior Australian of the Year for my new well-known social network, Kidbook. Wow. The only way to introduce this animal is Tiger Smith. Hi, my name's Tiger Smith and I've been lucky enough to be nominated for the Junior Australian of the Year for my, for my role as a mini fashion police officer. Excuse me sir, that is a $50 fine for inappropriate hairdo. Have a nice day. Hmm. And now Australia's very own Twinkle Toes. My name is Jemima Button. I've been nominated because some say I'm Australia's finest ballet dancer and that no one's better than me. And our last nominee puts the boom in Boomba. At the age of 15, I found a very beautiful way to move. I'll be here. Abdi hip! Abdi hip! Oh, you do it good! No! No, you do it all wrong! Sweetie, you do it so good! Mwah! Ooh, you're like a little low-fat pie, it's gonna eat you all up! This evolved into Boomba. A vote for me is a vote for the children of Australia. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, the winner of Junior Young Australian of the Year is... 
Has anyone seen Titanic? I cried. <laughs> anyway, the winner is... Did you know lobster blood is blue? <laughs> Sorry, guys. And the winner is... Let's take some questions from the audience. <laughs> I will now reveal who the winner of Junior Young Australian of the Year is. about nature and marine life and whales. All they do is swim and sing and they're useless fat blobs. Seriously, give the award to a worthy cause, not some silly girl frolicking about in the ocean for singing a lover. Mate, you got it all wrong. Ladies love a man with more taste, but if you got more steel bill, then you suck it. So just be cool, man. Don't be so strict. Chillax, put down the new pair and pin and join the skeleton. I think your mama is really pretty. And, and can I dance with her? What up, man? Well, if you compare her to me, then I'm pretty chill, bro. He's too smart, like chillax sometimes. And hang ten and let the waves ride you. I mean, it's just ridiculous. You can't send smoked salmon off to Canada. It won't help. And you can't send pickled pork off to Canada, which isn't even a starving country. It's not worth a vote. You want to know what I think of her? Well, ugh, she's just weird and there's something about her. Ugh. Ugh. Get off the stage, pack your bags and leave Australia, Greenie. Oi, well, darling, you should not get the award just because you're on TV. How do you have world peace anyway? Like, you should stop trying to be totally perfect because you're not. Can you focus on something more important like uh, global warming? No one likes a nodal. I mean, look at her. She obviously knows nothing about life or clearly fashion. I mean, take a page out of my book. I'm glamorous, elegant and looks to die for. The only reason I'm not on that stage is to make the competition fair.